Roughly five months ago, floodwaters from the Big Sioux River damaged homes in Sioux City's Riverside neighborhood. Now this afternoon, the Sioux City City Council debated a plan to repair and prepare that area for another major flood. The plan to expand the Big Sioux River levee passed on a 5-0 to zero vote. The project proposes to address the left bank levee system on the north end along River Drive. Work would extend that levee to replace the temporary sandbag levee during high water events. But to complete the project, the city would need to buy three homes, tear them down, and relocate the affected homeowners. The cost of the project will vary depending on grant application project. And city staff will begin design and permitting in May of 2025. Work is slated to start in the spring of 2027. The council also passed the plans, contract, and estimated cost for an addition to Sioux City's Cone Park. The Cone Park destination patio project would include concrete pavement, synthetic turf, and gas fire pits in the area. The project is fully funded through the Destination Iowa Program Grant. The project will cost just over $400,000. The public is invited to a hearing November 18th to learn more about that project. The City Council also approved plans for another section of the Plywood Trail in Sioux City. Specifically, the work would build a connection between the Floyd Riverfront Trail and the Plywood Trail. Contractors will also complete railroad crossing improvements and underpass canopy structure, as well as final grading and seating. The Plywood Trail project is funded through GO Bonds and grant funding. The estimated cost, just over $1.6 million. Work should be complete on this section of the trail in June of 2025. The Sioux City Police Department will receive new body cameras and other equipment thanks to a vote by the City Council. Back on September 9th, the City agreed to begin the negotiation process for the new equipment with Arizona-based company Axon. The Sioux City Police Department will receive new body-worn cameras, mobile audio-visual recorders, and interview rooms. Police Chief Rex Mueller says the equipment the department has right now has exceeded its lifespan and needs to be replaced. The total cost for that equipment is just a little more more than $1.6 million.